Although you can't see it here, Tara and I started the morning bright and early at 4 a.m. in Madrid. We stepped outside with our suitcases and people were still hanging out from their night out. It was rough. We took a quick plane trip to Amsterdam, landed, dropped our stuff off at the hostel and walked around before stopping off at this really cute cafe. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Are these dams that one of the workers was American, so we got to talk to him about what it was like to go to university in Amsterdam. Guess where we're going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bow. It's so pretty. Are you crying? No, I'm cold. cold. <laughs> and then after that, we walked to one of the bike rental shops and got bikes. We ended up biking for three hours, but the main first goal was the Miffy store. <laughs> we have just arrived in Amsterdam. Hello, Amsterdam. We're here to adopt. Us in Amsterdam. Here to pick up our child. We're getting a child. Come with us in Amsterdam. <laughs> we just biked here Came for our child. Wait, that's a real child. <laughs> this is the child in question. This is so scary. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> the best day of my life. Look at the little keychain I got Aww. at the Mickey store. Wait, I'm trying to focus. Solid. It's the same exact keychain. Yes. Gonna put it on my little press. Right yes. here. Yes. I got a ridiculous amount of stuff at the Miffy store, but look how cute the bag is. No, it's embarrassing how much stuff I just bought in there. <laughs> no. It was so much fun in there. So much fun. Best place I've ever biked to in my entire life. Best biking look destination. Look how cute. Hello. Oh, so happy. <laughs> we biked all the way to the Miffy store and it was amazing. And it was the Did best Did not thing disappoint. Ever. Yeah. Okay, next biking stop and Frank House, right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't have any more tickets left, so yeah. bike by it. And then Same Tara way. found like an apple pie shop. Yeah, best apple pie in all of Holland. Yeah. We'll taste test. We'll see. tell you if, if it's the best apple pie in all of Holland. If the spring break reunion has done anything, it's been <laughs> test tasting really good food. <laughs> yeah. Like the churro from the Madrid vlog. Mm. Best churro ever. So good. Could not be happier. After a few hours of biking, we went back to the hostel. I had this nectarine from Madrid still in my bag, so ate that. And then we kind of sorted ourselves out, cleaned up a little bit, and then we walked around some more. There was the prettiest sunset ever. Amsterdam was such a magical place. I don't know what it was about it. It felt like a very fairy tale-esque <laughs> city. So much fun roaming around it looked so different from day to night we ended up picking up some falafels and then my friend sawyer ended up happening to be in town at the same time we went to go see his show he got tara and i on the list saw a little bit of laundry day <laughs> And it was at a really weird concert venue so we walked across the hall where there was another show going on they had a little gallery inside honestly like super fascinating place and kind of art house space and there were so many people it was really fun <laughs> When we left, our friend Mac told us that Amsterdam has really big Greek life, which I had never heard of. We walked out of the concert venue and we saw these kids going into this house, which we figured out was a frat house. And we literally just walked in. No one said anything to us. So we hung out there for a while. So we went to a frat party in Amsterdam, which was honestly a crazy out of body experience. It felt like being on a movie set. The next morning we already had to leave. So we packed up our stuff from the hostel, went across the street to a cafe, got a cheesy croissant, which honestly was so good. Tara and I were gagged. Today it was raining a lot, which which kind of sucked because I was rolling around my suitcase everywhere. So we didn't get to do as much, but we went and got these cookies, which Caitlin told me are the best ever. And they only make one type every day until they sell out, which I honestly think is insane that they're doing that well to be able to do that. I think that's so awesome. Did a lot of gift shopping.
And then we didn't know what to do, so I opened my app maps and saw that there was a cat museum right next to us with a student price of only five euros. Dude, we went inside, had never heard of this place. It was honestly kind of a smaller museum and the backyard was closed, but the coolest museum I've ever been to, so niche and random, and the workers were so cool. So I would totally recommend that it was just like cat art everywhere. They had their own cats walking around. We walked into this crazy red room with this cat mannequin, coolest thing ever. So if you're in Amsterdam and you have time, it's small, but so, so cool. And I would totally recommend checking it out. When we were finally leaving the museum, we were talking to one of the workers and asking for a cool coffee shop to go to. So this is the one they recommended to and it confirmed it was awesome. It was really busy too. Went there for like a little last pick me up. I got a cappuccino and quiche. And then Emma and Mariah, who are my close friends from Australia when I studied abroad, were also in Amsterdam. So everyone was running into each other. And this was the first time I got to see Emma since Australia. Back in Tasmania. Back again. Yeah. New okay. bangs, new coat. New bangs, new coat for boys. London changed me. <laughs> the trip itself was super quick, but Tara and I had both been wanting to go to Amsterdam so badly, and both of us had never been. So it just made sense, and I'm so glad I got to see Emma for like 30 minutes. I said goodbye to Tara, and I got on another plane and went to Wales, and I spent a few days with my family there and it was just so nice and so laid back and calming so I didn't vlog too much but here are some snippets. Another rainy start to the vlog. <laughs> Back from my European bender. It's been like more than a week now, but I feel like I need to finish this video with a haul because I bought a lot of crap, but I also bought a lot of stuff from the Miffy store and it was like the best day ever. So I do have to show you. First of all, actually I wore this to class today. I saw this really cute t-shirt in this gift shop in Amsterdam, but they didn't have it in any adult sizes. And I really wanted it. So I got like a size 12. It was the biggest one they had but it's this little shirt, so cute. I also wore matching socks today with my Mary Janes and I'm so sad it's raining because this was like low key fire. Anyways, this is a t-shirt, <laughs> got that. And then this is the best thing I think I've ever bought in my entire life. When Tara and I biked to the Miffy store, I got this little Miffy mobile. It's kind of crooked right now cause I'm holding it and it's balancing, but it's like so precious. And then you light the candle and you can see the Miffies and it spins and I'm gonna die. I love it so much. I actually posted a video of this on my Instagram dump from Europe if you want to like like see it in action. And then I got this little pink Holland Miffy keychain. So cute, Tara got one too. So that's our matching thing now, except I don't know what to put it on because I wanna put it on something really cute, but I wanna put it on something that I can get a lot of use out of it, but it can be seen. I don't really know. I'm not sure if I have any bags I like for it to go on. That's a different problem. And then I got some keychains for some of my friends from Madrid. So I just got one for myself too. It's just this little heart. I'm not gonna lie, the like merch, <laughs> the merch, the merch in Amsterdam was so much cuter than Madrid, but Madrid was so wonderful and warm. Literally still have the Miffy bag. If you guys saw the Madrid vlog, Tara and I did a little photo strip in the Metro downstairs. So she got the black and white one. I took the colored one because I love a good photo booth. <laughs> and then I just got some postcards from Amsterdam that I thought were really pretty which would be really cute for the wall. I got a bunch of these because I wanna actually mail some of these out. I sent out postcards in Madrid to family and family friends, but I actually forgot I got these Amsterdam ones, so this is good to see. And then my aunt in Wales has a two-year-old little girl. And so this is the first time I've seen her since she was a baby. And she made me all of these little like handmade gifts. So she made me this drawing one night, which is so cute. So I wanna hang this up too. I also
also have over there this little butterfly that she made that it's on my wall right now because everyone told her it wasn't but she is convinced that it was my birthday when I was there so she made me cupcakes and we had a little birthday party then I got Miffy postcards these are my Miffy postcards these are solely for my wall they're so cute I'm not sure if I want to hang these up now or just wait because it's already April and I'm like school's almost over so I'm like maybe I'll wait for my senior year room to hang these up it's so cute we didn't even process that Amsterdam was like one of the homes of Miffy and so that was probably the best surprise of my entire life and from Wales I brought back a lot of chocolates and junk and stuff so I have candies and things from M&S oh and then I never did my Madrid haul. I just got this like super basic t-shirt from Zara. It's just brown Just like a comfy basic tee, which is good for whatever for life and it was really cheap And then I got this sweater, which is so cute Like maybe I should wear this to class tomorrow actually It has this fold over collar and the bottom has the little green trim. It's so cute We kind of have a green vibe going on But originally I went to Zara while Tara was in class in Madrid because I have a Zara gift card that I haven't used in forever And then I get to check out after trying things on in the dressing room and I can't use my US gift card there which I guess could have made sense but whatever so I ended up just spending money and then I took this from my grandma's attic I guess this is her she bought in Hawaii a long time ago I actually didn't try it on I was just packing and then I looked at it and I was like oh this could be interesting to try so it's this lace frilly multicolored thing I'm not really sure like how to style it yet but I think it's really fun I also took um, some more of my grandma's and my dad's old clothes so I got one of my dad's old Stussy sweaters from when he was younger great things oh my god and then also i bought this tin of stroop waffles just because the tin was so cute and i needed it so i have this like pink miffy tin now which i'll probably put pens or some other crap in later but it's literally so cute and i didn't even want the stroop waffles but i had to get it so i could have the tin but i'm not even gonna lie i've almost finished all of the stroop waffles just because they're actually so good i think i got other little random things but that's pretty much that's the majority of it thank you for joining me on my crazy european bender i did a lot in a really short amount of time but today i started doing another like nyu film week in the life vlog so it's good to be getting back into that and i think a lot of you will enjoy that more if you watch all the way through um comment a any green emoji i feel like green survive and i'll respond with one i'll pick a green emoji depending on what my vibe is at that moment we'll see anyways it's raining today i have a lot of work to do hope you guys are well and not getting sick and happy april bye